The San Diego Union Tribune is San Diego's largest and most experienced news organization, winner of four Pulitzer Prizes and 33 regional Emmys. We deliver the news with depth, authority, and over 150 years of local knowledge. Our journalists speak truth to power. The Union Tribune serves everyone who cares about our community. Support our work. Subscribe today on our website, San Diego Union Tribune. Com. Welcome. This is Dee Sanford, your chairperson for the 37th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Human Dignity Award event. We are virtual again this year. We sure miss seeing you in person, but we're excited that you chose to join us this evening. We want to thank you. We want to thank our sponsors. You saw them before, and we want to thank those who have donated as well. We appreciate your support, and we are so happy to have you with us. And this handsome gentleman to my right, you know him, Michael Brunker. He'll be chairing with me uh, or co-chairing with me this evening. And now we're going to open. So please join us in watching this wonderful performance by the Heartbeat Music Academy Thunder Squad Drumline. And this was filmed at the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. Following that will be a presentation of the colors by the San Diego chapter of the Buffalo Soldiers Horse Calvary, the Pledge of Allegiance, and Reverend Amos Johnson will deliver the invocation followed by the Martin Luther King Jr. Choir of San Diego, California. Thank you.
flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we have gathered here tonight to remember and celebrate the life and work of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. because his life of dedication and sacrifice for the cause of freedom and justice continues to inspire and motivate people of goodwill throughout our nation and around the world. We need the spirit of Dr. King to guide us as we face the increasingly difficult challenges of our times. So we gather here tonight under the auspices of the Jackie Robinson YMCA, and we pray, Lord, that you will help us to reaffirm our commitment to doing the work that's necessary to eliminate and root out all vestiges of hatred and discrimination that still exists in our communities and in our nation. We pray that you will help us to remember the words of Dr. King when he said, there is no easy way to create a world where men and women can live together in harmony, where each has his own job and his own house, and where all children receive as much education as their minds can absorb. But if such a world is to be created in our lifetime, it will be done by people of goodwill from all races working together. It will be accomplished by people of courage. It will be done by rejecting racism, materialism, and violence, and working together toward a world of brotherhood, cooperation, and peace. Heavenly Father, we humbly make this prayer, completely trusting in your goodness and mercy, and offering ourselves in your service. And let the people of goodwill say, Amen and Amen. Let every voice and sing till the heaven ring, ring with the harmonies of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the rolling sea. My name is Ana Dancivia, Executive Director for the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. I'd like to take this time to thank all for attending the 37th Annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Human Dignity Award event. It's amazing to me that the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA has been honoring and celebrating Dr. King for 37 years. This holiday, I invite you to take time to read Dr. King's letter from a Birmingham jail. In the letter, Dr. King writes, I'm cognizant of the interrelatedness of all communities and states. I cannot sit idly by in Atlanta and not be concerned about what happens in Birmingham. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. We are caught in an inescapable network of mutuality, tied in a single garment of destiny. Whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. Never again can we afford to live with the narrow provincial outsider agitator idea. Anyone who lives inside the United States can never be considered an outsider. So this holiday, I challenge you to consider a day on and not a day off. What will you do to make a difference in your community? I truly hope you're inspired by tonight's event. Please welcome now, Greg Hunter, Chairman of the Board of Advisors for the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. Good evening, I'm Greg Hunter, Chairman of the Board of Advisors of the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. 
Welcome to the 37th annual Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Human Dignity Award event. On behalf of the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of our sponsors and program participants. Special thank goes out to the members of the planning committee led by Dee Sanford, who've been responsible for organizing tonight's event. I'd also like to thank everyone at Y Team Headquarters, the Jackie Robinson YMCA Board of Advisors, and the Jackie Robinson staff. Thanks to all of you for a job well done. 2021 has been filled with reminders about why the legacy of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. is relevant now and always will be. It gives me great pleasure to know that the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA has been committed to King Day in San Diego since the national holiday was established on January 20th, 1986. If this event is anything like it has been in years past, you're in for an excellent evening of both entertainment and education. Thank you all for joining us this evening to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. King. Good evening, I'm Todd Tibbetts, President and CEO of our YMCA of San Diego County. And it's my privilege to be with you tonight for the 37th Martin Luther King Jr. Human Dignity Award event. While this is the 37th, this is my first. And I would really like to thank our sponsors, our board of the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA, and our amazing staff for the work they have put together to deliver this event tonight but also the work they do every single day to transform lives and community with focus on health equity and youth and teen opportunity. I'd also like to congratulate Dr. Susanna Flalo and Theo Logan as this year's recipients of the Human Dignity Award. They are true models of the values and the legacy of Dr. King. As I think about the impact and legacy of Dr. King, Two quotes come to mind. First, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. And I'm so proud to work for an organization that brings light to the community and is a beacon on the hill, as Jackie Robinson is. And secondly, as we should right now, we should feel the fierce urgency of now to deliver the legacy of Dr. King to provide peace, justice, equality and unity in our communities. Thank you. Thank you so much to Anna, Greg, and we welcome Mr. Tibbetts to San Diego as our new CEO and president. And now it is my great honor and privilege to introduce a local person, a famous person, an award-winning recording artist, and a vocalist here in San Diego and now all over the world, Miss Rebecca Jade, who is going to favor us with Dr. I'm sorry, with um, What's Going On by Martin, uh, Mar um, by Marvin Gaye, excuse me. Thank you so much, Miss Rebecca Jade. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Brother, 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 there's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Father, 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 there's no need to escalate. No, you see, war is not the answer. For only love can conquer hate. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Picket lines Sister. and picket signs. Sister. Don't you punish me Sister. with brutality. Sister. Come on, talk to me Sister. so that you can see what's going on. What's going on? 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 Dude. 
Thank you to all for those wonderful welcomes and to Rebecca Jade for what's going on reminder. And that's why we're here today as we honor the life and legacy of Dr. King. Good evening, I'm Michael Brunker and I'm the retired executive director of the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA and a recipient of the Human Dignity Award in 2018. Please allow me to thank you for joining us this evening and now we're going to bring back the Martin Luther King Jr. Community Choir of San Diego and followed by Kimberly Bostick from Wells Fargo, who is the sponsor of the Youth Essay Contest since 1986. Yeah. My name is Kimberly Bostick, and I am the chapter chair for the Black and African American Connection for Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo believes in a legacy of leadership. Great leaders leave a mark on the communities they serve. They bring people together, create consensus, and work hard to make a positive change. 
what is accomplished today can last for generations. Year after year, children all over San Diego County participate in the annual Wells Fargo Bank and YMCA of San Diego County Living Dream Contest. Wells Fargo is pleased to sponsor this event and others like them at YMCA's throughout San Diego County that promotes leadership and literacy among young people. Congratulations to all the winners in the virtual program guide. All the entries were excellent and judging was extremely hard. Thank you again to all the participants. $175 Wells Fargo gift cards are awarded to the first and second place finalists in each age division, and all winners will receive a one month membership to the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. Now, please welcome Amari Huerta, a seventh grader from High Tech High Middle School to share her winning entry. Hello, my name is Amari Huerta, and the name of my poem is Uplift and Rejoice. When I hear the name Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., I think empowerment, I think strength, I think empathy. I see leadership, I see intelligence, I see determination. I could go on and on just like you fought and fought. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A name but not just any name. A name that will uplift and rejoice you. A name I hope will uplift and rejoice future little girls and boys. Not just the name but the story. Not just the story but the journey. I hope that together we can continue to break new grounds and come together uplifting and rejoicing others. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. A man but not just any man. A leader, a fighter, a visionary. Congratulations to Amari for her powerful first place tribute to Dr. King, made possible by Wells Fargo. Thank you again, Kimberly Bostick. You've heard many times tonight that this event began in the gymnasium of the old Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. 400 attendees packed the Y to give tribute to King and present the Human Dignity Award. The first recipient of that award in 1986 was Rufus DeWitt, who was also the first African-American executive director at a YMCA here in San Diego County. And it was right at what was then called the Southeast YMCA, now called the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. Before we meet the 2022 recipients and acknowledge the past participants, please join me for a moment of silence in celebration of the life of Gladys Calvin, the first woman to receive the award in 1990, who was called to be with the Lord in December of 2021. The Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, we have before us a glorious opportunity to inject a new dimension of love into the veins of our civilization. And the end is redemption. The end is reconciliation. The end is the creation of the beloved community. And the end right now is we're gonna honor the past recipients of the YMCA of San Diego County, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Human Dignity Award, who have contributed to the beloved community right here in San Diego County.
YMCA of San Diego County, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Human Dignity Award annually honors an individual or group who has demonstrated extraordinary achievement and commitment in promoting the value and importance defined by the life and legacy of the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. The Human Dignity Award is open to all San Diego County individuals and organizations. The Human Dignity Award will recognize contributions that reflect the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. in the most critical communities of the greater San Diego region. The reduction of prejudice and the promotion of integrity through the YMCA core values of honesty, caring, respect, and responsibility are important. Nominations are submitted from all over San Diego County and the Living Past recipients make this selection. I am honored to announce the 2022 recipients of the YMCA of San Diego County Human Dignity Award are Dr. Suzanne Aflalo and Theophilus Logan. Suzanne's contributions in the past year alone have led to thousands of residents in San Diego County's most critical communities receiving free vaccinations where they live, work, and play. They did not have to travel to get that during this COVID pandemic. And the legendary Theophilus Logan is known by all as the reason why people of color owned homes in the same communities during times of restricted covenants. Now with their acceptance comments are Dr. Suzanne Aflalo and Theophilus Logan. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Suzanne Aflalo, and what a pleasure it is to be here with you this evening for the 2022 Dr. Martin Luther King Human Dignity Award. Wow, I was so surprised when I received the call from Michael Brunker on New Year's Eve day while I was vacationing out of the country. He shared the wonderful news that I was chosen as one of the recipients for the Martin Luther, Dr. Martin Luther King Human Dignity Award for 2022. I didn't know what to think at the time. All sorts of ideas were running through my head like, did he call the wrong number by mistake? Was it me that he really wanted to reach? Was I being pranked? Or was this really God's way of letting me know that he was pleased with the work that I've been doing for his people for the past year? My passion truly is to serve God's people, um, educating them and empowering them to have the best health possible. So over the past two years, obviously I've been focused on educating the community on COVID-19, the importance of, of getting tested, safety measures and getting vaccinated. So what an honor it is to be awarded for the work that I've been doing um, diligently for the past year. It's an honor to serve God's people. Thank you so much, Jackie Robinson YMCA Committee for choosing me as a representative for the Dr. Martin Luther King Human Dignity Award. Thank you so much. Um, to the Alphabus, A. Logan, 104 years of age. I am overwhelmed with this acceptance of me as a student, let me say, of what Dr. King did in his lifetime. I think this is one of the most prestigious awards that I have received in my life. I remember his sincerity in what he was doing. He realized the situation in this country, and he did something about it. I think we need to understand the, what he gave up in order to help us improve our lives in this country. He lost his life helping us improve our lives during the time of his life. And I think this is something that none of us should forget and think little of. We should all remember what Dr. King did for us, one and all. Well, thank you so much. What a wonderful, wonderful honor for Dr. Suzanne Aflalo and for Theo Logan, people who have dedicated so much of their lives to this community. Thank you so very much for your service.
Now, before I introduce the keynote speaker, you know I have to apologize for messing up Marvin Gaye's name. I'm going to have to turn in my card if I don't straighten that out. So please forgive me. And now it is my honor to introduce our keynote speaker for the evening, Reverend Dr. Art Cribbs, Jr., who is currently the interim senior pastor at Little River United Church of Christ in Annandale, Virginia. Now, before he moved to Annandale, he served for eight years as pastor of Christian Fellowship Congregational Church, also affiliated with the United Church of Christ here in San Diego. And while he was here, Art was very active. He founded the church's community outreach support programs and started refugee and immigrant programs for Sudanese and Somali families. Dr. Cribbs has an extensive background in broadcast news and in talk shows. He produced and hosted the television special Stories of the Soul, Life After 9-11, for which he won an Emmy Award and Changing Faces of AIDS, AIDS which uh, was also nominated for an Emmy. He earned his bachelor degree from the University of California at Berkeley in political science, a master's of divinity from the Chicago Theological Seminary, and a doctorate of ministry from the Claremont School of Theology. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Arthur Cribbs. Thank you so much, Dee. And it's a great honor to be with you tonight. A special word of congratulations to my dear friend, Theo Logan, and to his wife, Martha, because what one does, the other shares in that. We give honor to the one who is known and called by many names, one who is worshiped through many traditions, religions, and ways of life. Tonight, I want to give thanks to the San Diego YMCA for this very high honor and privilege to return home and share with you a few thoughts on this occasion when we remember the birth and life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As we celebrate his 93rd birthday, there's more to Dr. King than the number of years he lived and walked on the earth. There is more to him than the sacrifice of his life and his premature death. Indeed, Dr. King was more than a symbol of justice, hope, and civil rights. He was the embodiment of a loving God who placed justice and human aspiration at the highest echelon of achievement in any society. Tonight, I want to bring to your attention someone who walked with Dr. King, someone who knew Dr. King, someone who loved Dr. King, Mrs. Coretta Scott King. She did not live or rest in the shadow of Dr. King. She walked and stood right beside him. She held him in her arms. She gave him comfort. She whispered in his ears and she encouraged him when his spirits were low and his vision was dim. Mrs. King must be seen and recognized with the same honor, the same glory, the same purpose, and the same standing in history as her husband and companion. In addition to sharing the public witness of Dr. King, Mrs. King was right there with him, and so much more. She brought forth into the world their four children. She carried the torch of justice at the same time. Whatever Dr. King achieved, Mrs. King helped to make it possible. And more than that, she shared in crafting strategies, knocking down walls of discrimination and segregation, and she was the consoling voice when the darkness of midnight failed to provide restful sleep. Mrs. King was the source of his inspiration and his courage, even when he considered giving up and enjoying a more mundane life. 
It was Coretta Scott King who was there in the public streets walking arm in arm with Dr. King. It was Coretta Scott King who remained when others had left and only they were together to console each other. And when their home was bombed, Coretta Scott King was there as the blast rattled more than the structure of their house. It rattled their nerves and frightened their children. So it is only right tonight on this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, the honoring of his birthday, that we call out the name Coretta Scott King. On a personal note, I shall never forget that night in Los Angeles when I was just 12 years old, and my mother took me to hear Mrs. King in concert. It was not a political rally or a civil rights demonstration. It was Mrs. King singing solo on an evening when her great talent was on full public display. Although I was just a child, her voice captured my soul and her beauty, <laughs> her beauty possessed my heart. It was unforgettable. All these many years later, I can still see her standing in front of a crowded church and I can still hear her melodious voice. Today, we honor Mrs. King for her courage, for her tenacity, for her love and for her commitment to her husband and racial and social justice. Many years after that night in Los Angeles, I had the great honor to meet and interview Mrs. King multiple times in Seattle, Washington and San Francisco, California, when I was a news reporter. She was always open, honest, sincere, and well-informed. I shall never forget her repetitive words, if Martin was alive today. Mrs. King was passionate. She was loving, and she was deeply committed to the possibilities and the ideals of this nation that continues in its failure to honor its own rhetoric, its own sacred documents, and its own public proclamations. Indeed, the very words of this nation will condemn it because of its hypocrisy. Dr. King, demonstrated public courage because he had the private encouragement and support of his wife. He had the support of his soulmate. He had the support of his life partner in the enterprise of making America a nation that honors and keeps its promises. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Mrs. Coretta Scott King forged a partnership that was committed to making the ideals of America true and openly available to every citizen and resident of this country. So here we are tonight, 54 years after Dr. King was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee, my family's hometown. Are we awake tonight? Are we awake from any dream or false illusion? Do we still wonder how long will it take before justice rolls down like a mighty stream? How long must our children continue to suffer? How many more lives will be lost in this nation that proclaims peace and justice for all but accommodates inequality, injustice, and disadvantages among its citizens and its residents? How long? Must Dr. King's dream continue to be denied? And how long will suffering prevail in this nightmare? I pray, I pray we will honor Dr. King and Mrs. King by embodying the ideals to which they dedicated their lives and they made the ultimate sacrifice. I pray each of us tonight will take it upon ourselves to stand up, stand up, stand up for the voiceless, 
the invisible, the wounded veterans, the houseless, the jobless, and those who reside among us in despair. I do pray tonight that we will take it upon ourselves to be the movers and shakers who will make the ideals of America a reality and where justice will roll down like water and righteousness like an ever flowing stream. We must move this nation from the ideals of America to a reality where all people, all people can live and thrive and experience the fullness of life in a country that truly honors and protects all of her people. Tonight, as we honor and remember Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Mrs. Coretta Scott King, let us resolve to address the continuing plight of people across this nation, people who have yet to experience a homeland where every child is safe. Let us tonight resolve to make this nation a country where every family can prosper and no person is kicked to the curb, left alone and forgotten. Let us say and sing together, my country tis of thee, sweet land of liberty, of thee I sing. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrim's pride, from every mountainside, let freedom ring. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Art. That was a wonderful, wonderful presentation. And if this audience were in place tonight, we'd all give you a standing ovation. Thank you so very much. It is my honor to present you with this very small token of our appreciation. Thank you for coming all the way back to San Diego. <laughs> Welcome home and um, stand by for me. I want you to do me a favor, okay? Right. Thank you. Wasn't that a wonderful presentation? Just awesome. I want you to also remember, <clears throat> excuse me, that the YMCA souvenir book is online this evening and available to you even after this evening. Just go to ymcasd.org forward slash MLK forward slash book. And you can find the souvenir book there, message and, and uh, ads from our uh, sponsors and the people who had well wishes for tonight's program. Thank you so much for staying with us. And now Rebecca Jade returns with her version of God Bless the Child That's Got His Own. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God bless a child that's got his own. Hallelujah, hallelujah, God bless a child that's got his own. Them that sky shall get, them that's not shall lose. So the Bible says, and it still is news. Mama may have, Papa may have, but God bless a child that's got his own. That's God is own. Well, the strong get more while the weak ones fade. Empty pockets don't ever make the grave. Mama may have, Papa may have, yes. But God bless a child that's got his own. 
that's got his own. Well, thank you, Rebecca Jade. God bless the child that's got his own. What a wonderful, wonderful song. It's been an evening that has just been so exciting to participate in. I want to thank you for staying with us, for watching this evening, and send a shout out to Anna, who's at home and wanted to be with us this evening. I also want to thank our sponsors, all of you who donated, and I want to thank the crew at the studio. They have done a fantastic job under the leadership of Ray McEwen, who is on our board and has unselfishly helped us to put on this virtual program. We thank you for staying with us this evening. We thank you for your continuing support of the Jackie Robinson Family YMCA. And I just want to tell you, our swimming pool should be in uh, late summer. We hope you'll come down and take a swim with us. Thank you so much. And uh, I would like to have Dr. Cribs to deliver the benediction this evening. He did such a beautiful job on the keynote address. I asked him to do that for us. So thank you. And now Art Cribs will deliver the benediction. Thank you so much, Dee, and again, thank you, Michael, and thank all of you for being with us in support of the Jackie Robinson YMCA. As we conclude our time tonight, let us go into the world, to places where people will see you for the first time and experience things that will change their lives and change your lives. We invite you to go into the world tonight unafraid, unashamed, and unapologetic. Go into the world tonight and be audacious, bodacious, and courageous. 
Go and be you. Amen. Thank you, Art. Thank you so very much. It's been a wonderful evening. Thanks to my co-host, Michael Brunker, our good friend. And thank you again. And now don't, uh, don't, don't tune off yet. We're going to have one more song by Rebecca Jade, Corinne Bailey's Put Your Records On. And you're going to see a QRC code appear on the screen and you'll be able to point your camera and make a donation. Thank you so much. God bless you. And we'll see you again in 2023. Three little birds sat on my window And they told me I don't need to worry Summer came like cinnamon so sweet Little girls double dutch on the concrete you think it's strange girl put your records on tell me your favorite song you go ahead let your hair down sapphire and faded jeans go ahead and reach your dreams just go ahead let your hair down you're gonna find yourself somewhere somehow As the sky, sunburned and lonely, sipping tea in a bar by the roadside. Don't you let those other boys fool you. Gotta love that Afro hairdo, yeah. It's strange, girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, let your hair down. Sapphire and faded jeans. Go ahead and reach your dreams. Just go ahead, let your hair down. You're gonna find yourself somewhere, somehow. Just more than I can take. For pity's sake, some nights kept me away. I thought that I was stronger. When you're gonna realize you don't even have to try any longer. Do what you want to. Girl, put your records on. Tell me your favorite song. You go ahead, let your hair down. Sapphire and faded jeans, go ahead. Somewhere.